Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon Frain. We are back with another video. Today, we're talking about how can you 10x your portfolio, and we're going to be using BitTensor Tau and one of the subnets called BitCast as a great example of how you can do this. As always, if you enjoy the content, please just take three seconds, smash that like button below this video, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. And as always, you've got a completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description below this video. Make sure to grab it down below and let's talk about your portfolio. Okay, so like I said in the intro of the video, I'm going to use BitTensor Tau and this subnet BitCast as a specific example of how you really can 10x your portfolio and break it down as simply as I can. So just first and foremost, you guys know I'm pretty bad on the BitTensor Tau ecosystem. I think it's probably one of the ecosystems that lends itself the best to giving you the best opportunity to potentially do multiple X gains on your portfolio. And that's why I'm using this as a particular example. But very, very quickly, I've done a bunch of videos about BitCast on the channel. BitCast is a marketing subnet on the BitTensor network focused on verifying creator content, matching content briefs for brands. So in, in short, they're basically connecting brands and subnets that want to get more exposure, more eyeballs, more attention with content creators, just like the one you're seeing in this video, in order to create content that matches content briefs so that those brands and subnets and businesses get more exposure, get more attention, and can continue to grow. And the way they do this is they're using artificial intelligence to verify that the content the creators are making actually matches with the content briefs the brands want, and they get paid out in subnet alpha token rewards for doing so. Okay, BitCast is providing marketing services to some of the most promising BitTensor subnets, and they're looking to expand even beyond that. The long-term vision is to continue to grow and expand beyond just the Tau ecosystem. But for now, most of the brands and content briefs are coming from other subnets and other topics directly related to artificial intelligence and subnets in the BitTensor ecosystem. The other big thing they've been doing recently is essentially expanding to incur, sorry, in, include different content agencies that are building on top of BitCast because you've got those content agencies bringing more creators, more attention, more eyeballs to the brands and the businesses who are paying BitCast in order to get more exposure. So the, gra the rapidly growing network effects of getting more creators on board is helping BitCast to grow rapidly because of the introduction of those agencies. And we're going to see, in my opinion, a lot more growth over the coming months with this particular subnet. So that's how it works works at a fundamental level. But if I jump over to Tau stats very, very quickly, you can see that growth reflected in the price action of the subnet alpha token. We're currently sitting at 0.006 Tau per BitCast subnet alpha token, which is equal to about $2.50. You can see we've had a really nice bounce from this 0.0024 area all the way up to 0.006 over the past few weeks. And again, a lot of that being driven by more creators coming on board, partnerships that BitCast are establishing, and the network, the network effects of having more brands, subnets, and, and businesses looking to get exposure, more eyeballs, more attention with all of the creators in the BitCast ecosystem. We're currently looking at a market cap of 2.21 million. We've got 996,000 total issued tokens, 21 million max supply, of course, as with all subnet alpha tokens. But what really gets me excited is the growth that we're seeing in this price action and how you can capitalize on this in order to multiply your portfolio. Okay, like I said, the goal with picking subnets in the Tau ecosystem is that you want to pick subnets that have the potential to outperform Tau on a percentage basis. That's going to multiply the amount of Tau in your portfolio. And again, this may or may not work because sometimes it is a little bit finicky here on Tau stats. But if I try to measure this on a percentage basis, it's not letting me do it. But what you're looking at there is roughly speaking, about a 130% gain for BitCast over the past 30 days in its price action. So that is a 130% gain if you were just holding uh, versus if you were just holding Tau natively, if I jump over to Tau yield, you can see that 130% gain for the subnet alpha token for BitCast in the past 30 days. This is the goal of picking subnets, subnets that are going to outperform Tau on a percentage basis and continue to multiply your portfolio. The other very exciting component here 
is the fact that you can earn incredible staking yield by just holding your BitCast subnet alpha token and staking it with a validator. As you can see on the screen here, Tau Yield is projecting us getting 301% APY from simply holding and staking the BitCast subnet alpha token. If we click into it here, you can see some of the largest validators where you have options to stake your subnet alpha tokens for BitCast, TauBot having over 50,000 staked. You've got Datura with over 74,000 staked, and you can see all of them very competitive here with over 300% APY that you can be making from simply staking your BitCast tokens. Again, another way for you to multiply your portfolio and increase the amount of Tau that you're holding, especially if you're a long-term believer. Again, that means if you start off with 10,000 subnet alpha tokens for BitCast today, 365 days for now, as long as this yield stays consistent, and it, it has been pretty consistently above 300%, you're going to have more than 30,000 subnet alpha tokens by that time. And just like I said a moment ago, if we continue to see the outperformance here of the BitCast subnet alpha token versus Tau, you're going to have that increase your Tau holdings in your wallet multiple fold depending on how that outperformance continues to play out so my opinion is that we do have the potential to see more outperformance for the bitcast subnet alpha token i do think you could be seeing this moving towards 0.1 tau by the peak of the cycle again i'll do a further breakdown on that and if you want a price prediction for the bitcast subnet alpha token drop a comment below this video i will definitely put it together but I think that is definitely on the cards, given some of the growth, given some of the connections that I've seen BitCast making from speaking with the founders of the protocol and the subnet itself, and from obviously mining on this subnet, I do have a vested interest to see that happen. So full disclosure there, but very interesting moves being made. And it just makes sense. If we're going to see the growth of Tau as an ecosystem as a whole, we need a marketing focused subnet to help speed you know, branch out and give us more exposure for the Tau ecosystem as a whole, all of the different subnets. And of course, BitCast will benefit from all of that in the medium to long run if we see that continued expansion in the Tau ecosystem. So the final piece of the puzzle here really is... Um, with the third leg of the stool is to see that tau price continue to increase in dollar terms so the first thing like i mentioned is you're going to see and this is just the bitcast website very quickly bitcast.network i urge you to come over and check it out i will leave a link in the description for their x and twitter account as well but as i said basically connecting brands with content creators to get more eyeballs get more attention get more exposure the third leg of the stool here um like i was saying the first leg is essentially that you can get outperformance of the subnet alpha token versus tau in a percentage terms. The second leg being the fact that you're getting over 300% APY. And then the third leg of the stool really being the fact that we should see an increase in the price of tau token in dollar terms. So if you're able to multiply the amount of subnet alpha tokens you have in your wallet, um, see that outperform tau on a percentage basis, that's going to increase it further. Getting that staking yield is going to increase your bags in dollar terms as well. And then if we see tau moving from the $400 area where it's at today towards the $1,000 mark, or even doing two or three or $4,000 by the peak of the cycle, which I think is very, very possible, go back and check out the other videos on my channel that explain my price targets for Tau. And if you want a price prediction update for BitTensor Tau as well, please drop a comment below this video. If we see Tau doing, you know, a three, four, five, six X from here, that is going to be able to get you multiple Xs on your portfolio from having exposure to subnets that outperform Tau on a percentage basis, giving you phenomenal staking yields along the way. You're going to see an amazing amount of price appreciation in US dollar terms. Again, this is not financial advice, guys. You obviously have to do the fundamental research on the subnet itself. You have to do the technical analysis on the charts just like I'm showing you but if you are confident that the subnet itself is harnessing and focusing on a real world problem they have a path to revenue they're expanding and growing they're getting users and adoption you think it can outperform Tau on a percentage basis it's giving you some pretty nice staking yields just like BitCast then I think you're going to see some phenomenal returns over the next year so again check it out for yourself do your own research guys but i really wanted to break down the opportunity you have to potentially 10x your own portfolio by giving you example like bitcast here in today's video 
That is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, Bitcast is continuing to expand with agencies, getting more creators on board, connecting them with brands um, and subnets in order to get more attention, get more eyeballs. I think the fundamental case for this subnet is very, very strong. Check it out for yourself and do your own research as always. But if you got any value at all out of this video, please just take three seconds, drop a really quick thumbs up on the video below on the screen hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification icon as well. We're dropping videos pretty much every single day on the channel. I want you to get notified. I want you to continue watching. I want to hear your journey. So make sure to drop a comment below this video. And like I said at the beginning, don't forget to grab your completely free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin. Link below this video in the description. Grab it now and we'll catch you in the next one.